started at the uh, age of six and I was quite hyperactive when I was a child and my parents thought it would be a good idea to release some of that energy in gymnastics. It was always a little bit easier for me. I think as in the beginner classes I went through those pretty quick and I moved up into the competitive gymnastics once I reached the age of nine. At my hardest and, and peak times of training I would be uh, working out six days a week and anywhere from three to five hours a day. A six-time All-American at Penn State, Kevin competed in the Olympic trials and came in first in a specialty, the steel rings. He would become not just the first Chinese-American male to be named to the U.S. Olympic gymnastics team, but also serve as captain. He says being Asian-American was not a barrier. You know, there, there are some things here and there, but, you know, with that, you have to just kind of brush it off and just pick yourself back up and, and know that you, you got a goal and you got a mission and you're going out there to get it done. It really is unfortunate that we are stereotyped and you know to be able to go out there and prove something and show something uh, you know I may be pretty strong on rings which breaks a stereotype and you know I practice to get to that point but you know I choose what I want to make of myself. Getting to compete in his ancestral homeland was a dream come true but Kevin faltered in Beijing and failed to win an individual medal. However, the team would take home the bronze. I don't really see it as disappointment, just because the main focus and the goal of making it to Beijing, competing there, was for the team. Um, when you look at the sport, there's nothing greater than a team medal and something that you can share with everyone. And, uh, you know, I would have traded in and did trade in all my individuals to, to, to really focus on that, on that day. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty proud of what we did. Everyone was just so excited because, you know, I think we knew what we could do, but um, I think we had a lot of people that didn't think uh, we had the chance to, to accomplish what we did. The moment I remember the most was just the medal, the flag going up, and I, I remember just looking up and just taking a deep breath and just letting it out and just knowing that all the work and sacrifice that not only I've put in, but my family, my friends, everyone that's been in my support group, that um, they were able to share that moment with me. We're definitely tearing up a little bit, and I was especially, and um, it's a very powerful feeling, you know, uh, to be able to achieve one of your dreams, one of your goals uh, that you set at such a young age. It, it was uh, surreal. Kevin is now back at Penn State working as an assistant coach, but he hopes to go for the gold again in London in 2012. It's one thing that I really live by, is that you don't live any day without, with regret. And every day you're pushing to know that you did everything you did, uh, not just in gymnastics, but in life in general. You know, uh, life is very short. And to go out there and really take advantage of everything and every opportunity that you have, um, you know, to come home every night and say, do you have any regrets? No, okay. And you, you know, you had a good day.